Hey everyone, what's up? So today is a very, very special video day. Guess what? I'm with Sam and Nick. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna ask some crazy questions. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so question number one. So what is the most embarrassing makeup look you've ever done on yourself? One of my worst ones actually isn't to do with the makeup, okay. but I always get stuff stuck in my teeth oh, when I eat. Okay, and so it's food. the worst. Yeah. So as you're doing your makeup. Well, no, I'm not eating while I'm doing my makeup. Because your makeup's always so great. She my makeup just never made yeah. a mistake. <laughs> I have makeup. Literally, so my makeup I've is I've never flawless. made a makeup mistake. Come on. You must have made a mistake with yeah, your makeup. Yeah, I know, but I don't put them online. All oh, right. Okay. You know, like I filmed yeah. a general, bunch then. of videos that were like yellow eyeshadow, and now I know yellow eyeshadow looks terrible on me because when I came to edit it, it didn't make it. Mm. Didn't make the cut. You know what I mean? Yellow eyeshadow would be great on you, though. Okay. Oh, I might have to try that. You, you just mm, got the skin tone for it, dude. Okay. It would. Okay, so it's yellow eyes for you. Yeah, totally. I've done tons. 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 No, I've not made it onto YouTube. I've made, done a few that have. But well, she I've did done... one the other week. Yeah, and I didn't like it. I... No, but you posted it. I did post yeah. it, but I told everyone that I didn't like it. So what I did is, <laughs> like, I'm literally the worst person because I just do stuff. And I was taking my makeup off and yeah. I looked down and I saw some leg wax waxing strips. Oh my God. So I was like, I'm heavy. So I picked up these no. giant leg waxing strips, I've warmed them up this. and just went, <gasps> and then I was like, Whoosh! it looked great. I was like, oh my oh, God. smooth. I so was like, oh my smooth. God, my skin is so smooth. So then I had to cut them all into shape so that I could fit them all around my face. A right, wax and, 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 face. and then I decided, my skin feels amazing. I okay. look amazing. Okay. I'm gonna put some fake tan on. Oh I'm my like, god! Who does that? No. Who does that? So wait, were you filming at this point? No. So this, this is just you. This is just how. Yeah. This okay. is just me going this, about my day. This is your thought process. So I put some fake tan on. I was like, shit. I look good. I look good. I'm lovely and tan. Woke up the next day, and obviously where I'd waxed my skin, <laughs> yeah. it has gone so dry and patchy oh, that my tan god. was all dry and patchy. And then I was like. And then I got all these spots come up around here <laughs> from waxing. And then I was like, I know, I'll do a video. Thinking that, you know, this will look great. And I just looked so orange and patchy in the video. But I still put it up because I thought, you still put oh. it up. but I told everyone what yeah. I'd done because. You filmed a new intro, didn't you? I filmed a new day. intro because when I was editing it, I was like, oh, this is a bad makeup. Yeah. I'm I not think happy sometimes with it. it's quite nice to post it still. I, I still and like, put it and just, you know, because I think everyone has those situations. Yeah, lots of people loved it. They were like, I love it. Oh I was like, okay then. And you're like, oh God, this is not great. But I but... just filmed a new entry in, it, intro and just said, look, I'm not really happy with this makeup, but not what every makeup goes right. So yeah. I'm putting it up. Yeah, it's yeah. true. That's... Okay, so next question is what brush set could you not live without? Mm, the one that I probably couldn't live without is the setting brush. And we okay. say this every time, it's the unsung hero, we love it. Um, it's, have we got a setting brush? Does anyone want to throw it in? Go on guys, throw it, throw, throw it, it, throw in. it, Woo! Oh, I missed it. This is, and, and it's so, you know, it love looks that. like a the basic brush. It. Here we go guys, here it is. <laughs> but it just, it's great for, for actually for foundation, for powdering, I take it out with me. Um, it's a multitask for a little bit of blush, Such for a little a bit of nice highlighter. Size. It's the perfect size, that's Such why I like it. Such a good it. size, and I think like you can definitely use it so many different ways. Yeah, it's a makeup artist, you, staple. Well, I just so have. I just, I just so happened really to have my makeup bag. Oh! And Guys, I love looking inside people's makeup bags. Like, it's the one thing. I'm like, well, what is in there? I have this obsession with this brush, and now I have it in all these different colours, which I love. I've got these. I've got these, guys. But, I've got these. And I carry it in every. I've these. got another one in here somewhere in a different colour. And I carry them Being around an one. because I really like it. And um, I use them for different things in my makeup bag. So that is. Um, the Deluxe Crease Brush. But I love it. Like but just in different, different colours. colours. It's so good when they it's colour coded because like then you know that that's them. for your eyes yeah, and that's totally. going to be for this and that's going to be for your nose contour. I love, love, love. It's very smart. I quite like these Beauty Crush ones as well. They're very pretty. They, they are super pretty. They're not very me in it's the sense that they're, they're sparkly, but they're really good for putting your hair up and also, which is always handy when try. you're doing your makeup, try, right? Because I use the point. But also, the eye brush, which I don't have in here, is one of my favourite shapes mm. that we do. Because it's really good for getting yeah, in the nice. socket. Yeah, so, so there. cute. Aren't they gorgeous? That's so cute. Okay, we're going to put them back yeah. in there. Yeah. Do not want to lose those bad boys. No. Let's stick that over there. Yes. So this is an easy one. So, statement eye or statement lip? Eye. 
Oh, it's very hard for me to choose because I go one way or the other. <laughs> I do love a red lip, you know I do. Yeah. You I were rocking that like last a, night, babe. I was. was I, good, it was, was like good. a bright pink. But I also like I also like a liner. So oh You've lip. I'm going lip. lip. I'm going lip, yeah. And you said I. I. Yeah, what would you What's do? yours? I think lip. You, you got Look such amazing lips. lips. Lip, course. guys. It's gonna be the lip. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I really wanted to say a huge congratulations on winning the latest award oh, at the you. Expose. Thank you. Thanks, so, darling. Oh, you're welcome. Honestly, <laughs> it's so cool. So first thing I wanted to ask, like, how does that make you feel when you win an award? And also, which brush has won the most awards? Wow. Okay, it makes us feel really proud. Love that. It's incredible Aww. to know that other people love the brushes, especially when those when those awards are voted for by the public. I would say, I would be guessing here, but I'm gonna guess that it's the Expert Face Brush. Yeah, I think it's actually maybe, the Core Collection, or maybe the... It could be the Miracle, Miracle Complexion, Complexion sponge. sponge. But they're all part of the Core Collection. Yeah, so definitely it'll the, be orange the, the orange ones. Yeah. The, the orange ones. ones. Yeah. But Winners. actually, the Powder Blue ones have won quite a few awards cool. as well. Yeah. There you go, guys. You gotta check these out. <laughs> what made you choose purples, pinks, and oranges for your range? True story. <laughs> Fess yes. Up. What's Fess the up. juice? What's the tea? We didn't pick them. <gasps> oh. We hated the idea of real, real tech pick. Well, this is what happened. Okay. We worked on the brush heads. Yeah. And then. Uh, Someone else picked the handle. Well, no. Then they sent us the samples back, okay. and there was all these colours. And I remember opening the envelope and going. <gasps> Oh my god! No, I can't deal with all the colours uh, okay. because because you know me. I always I know I'm dressed in like bright colours today, but I'm normally black head to toe. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I was like, they're going to be really stealth. They're going to be really slick. They're going to be dark coloured. Actually, Real Techniques were bang on the money with it because they're so photogenic mm. and they look incredible. I think they on stand film. out. Yeah, they do, Honestly. and they're and they're so fun. And I just wasn't. I was thinking about what I would buy, and I wasn't reading. The audience, yeah, if you know what sure. I mean, and and really, if they were black brushes, I they would they just have just been boring. In yeah, with everyone else. So they were absolutely right. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would never have picked those colours, oh but they gosh. are incredible. I know. Well, they, so, they all have an educational reason behind the colouring. So the orange is base. So the pink is for finish, and then the purple is for eyes. Cool. So they all have That's a really reason. helpful to know as well when people yeah. are like yeah. shopping and looking for it because I think going right back to basics, sometimes even today, like people still struggle. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. I think that that's the thing about Real Techniques that we're really lucky that we get to work so hand in hand with them. Yeah. And, you know, everyone takes on board criticisms and positives and, and we're, and it's so collaborative. Everyone listens. So, you know, we're, we're lucky in that respect. God, I really wanted to know the answer to that. So I was like, that's a good one. That wasn't the answer you were expecting though. No, it? totally <laughs> not, totally not at all. If you weren't working in the beauty sector, what would you be doing? I'd be probably <laughs> fat sitting at home in a pad of <laughs> Jeremy Kyle. Eating crisps. <laughs> Eating crisps, oh, but Jeremy Kyle. Um, I don't know. I would probably be a nurse. A nurse? Yeah, she yeah. definitely would, or a vet. I like looking after people and oh. things. You? Oh, um, <laughs> something much more sober, I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> I, I would be like a paleontologist or something. I want to go and dig up dinosaur bones. Wow. Yeah, I do. That's what I want to do in life. Oh my god. I still want to do it. Oh. I know I'm actually a proper nerd. I'm a like, nerd. Like serious nerd. I'm a deep down nerd, honestly. I love it. I love I'm it. so like, I, I love like reading. Like, okay, so I've, I just bought a new camera. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get a book, start reading up on it. Amazing. Like, I'm just such a total geek. And it's funny because I think sometimes people think that like, you're more like extroverted, but no, I'm just like oh being. Oh my god, like, I, I am so it. not a nerd. If I start reading a book, it's like I've got narcolepsy. I'm just she like immediately. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> I, I start reading the first line, and I'm like. It is a good. It is good to make you sleep. <laughs> I'm yeah. so it tired straight away. What advice would you give someone starting YouTube today? Don't. <laughs> um, I think don't expect to get famous don't. straight away. Oh, is that your advice? Don't. don't. <laughs> if I had to give advice, I'd say get good lighting mm -hmm. if you're going to do beauty. Lighting is it's very so important. important. I think it's the most important because you can film it on your phone if you have good lighting. Yeah, now, because sure. camera phones, phones are great. Phones are so good now. Yeah, I would say that. And actually, I know this is such a lame answer, but being yourself is really important. Yeah. And actually having a, having a subject matter that you care about and you're interested mm -hmm. in. And you? Um, I would give advice of um, don't expect it to be super successful straight away. Mm. Keep, you know, if, if 10 consistent. people that you don't know watch, 
Fantastic. That's successful. That's successful. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. And, and also, yeah, as you said, be yourself, because I've met so many talent that when they when I meet them, I'm like, you are nothing. Yeah. How nothing scary is that? like that. Like they can't even like, have you eye do contact feel cheated. with you. Yes. Oh my god, I you feel, feel cheated. cheated straight well, away. Think, oh my god, in their videos they're like, yeah. And yeah. then you meet them and they're like... When they're like full of energy and they're like, oh my God, hi guys. And then they're like... Yeah, and then nothing. they put the camera on them again and you're like, yeah. wow, that's a talent, but you're not the person that I follow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's I very interesting. I think that would make your life so much harder to then put that on all the time. Oh because there's God. so many occasions where you might be like caught off guard. Yeah. Mm. But sometimes things on Instagram get really crazy, right? There's all these like crazy trends, all these kind of like weird things yeah, like bonkers. wobbly brows. Yeah. There's like all these like really crazy things. So like looking at that and currently I feel like the world definitely is changing. Like it's a very digital world. It's very digital effects. Like there's filters and you can even yeah. have filters that put makeup on your face and stuff like that. Like where do you see this going? Like what do you think's next? Oh God, it's... Because it's changed so much. Yeah, it's I think it's going to go back to raw. Ooh, really okay. raw. Real, like people like, are, um, are really in want rawness, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that yeah, you're gonna so get. Do you think it's just gonna completely flip round? I think what you'll have is always this fully filtered thing somewhere, but I think that you're gonna have, you know, the antithesis, which will be raw makeup, just yeah. like real skin. So yeah, it will just be more of a divide. Yeah. So if you had five to ten minutes to get ready, five to ten minutes. Just five to ten minutes. Yeah, I do that what would all you focus the time. On? Oh, no, that's me every day. That is me too. Like, okay, like literally. Two minutes. Two okay, minutes. Okay, so, so two minutes. Is this tell makeup me, or clothes? Tell me the makeup. scenario. What have I been doing before? Have I just woken up? Like, do I have to get washed in this time? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Just your makeup. Yeah, I'm like, just, quick just flannel face. wash. I'm out. <laughs> two minutes. Oh, you ain't got time for like, that. Yeah, two okay. <laughs> One minute per armpit. Quick. Like, oh. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so on your face, makeup. Bearing in mind, I don't know if you're that organised that you've got all your makeup yeah, lined up. Yeah, mine's all organised. Yeah. Is, is it? My, my, well, I have one bag that has... Okay. Oh, mine is mental. It's just stuff everywhere. Yeah, I've mine's got, just like, one 15, big crate. Yeah, 15 makeup bags. This is what I do. Lip balm, sunglasses, out, out. the door. Yeah. But that's, that's like seconds. Boom, I she's know. gone. That's it. No one's going to beat me because that is literally my day no. routine. Yeah, we do until I get balm. into the until I get into the office and put my makeup on for Instagram balm. or something. I love a lip balm. Love What's your lip favorite balm. lip balm? Okay, at the moment I'm actually loving the lip oil by NYX. I haven't tried it. Oh no, my I God, need to try so it. Good. It's so good. Well. It's called hashtag This Is Everything. One minute, two minutes. Um, a bit of concealer under my eyes. But I'm having fillers done at the moment, so they'll be gone soon. Yeah. Um, I'm so, and then that's it. A little bit of mascara. Out. So concealer. I, I don't and even mascara. wear makeup normally. I'm like only if I'm doing an event or I'm doing something that's on YouTube, then I put makeup. Yeah. On. I think it's Literally okay weird, not to wear makeup every day. Yeah, like, it's so low maintenance. So, like, there's so many days. I like, definitely on my. Like I still post and I'll still Instagram and Snapchat where I've got no makeup on. And sometimes yeah. people are like, oh, I'm like, well, no, that's just me. Like you yeah, have to totally. accept yourself as you are. Yeah. And then, Maybe. you know, the makeup's when you've got a little bit more yeah. time. It's mm. nice to not always look the same. Yeah. It makes putting makeup on more fun. I so I wanted to ask you guys, so this is one of your new brushes, which I got at yesterday's event. Mm. Yeah. And this is called the Rebel Edge. And I actually filmed with it this morning. So I was unsure of how to use it exactly so what can you say how are you meant to use this brush what can you tell me about it um it can be used for contouring it can be used for powdering now i'll tell you a little story about this so okay. what happened was we were in product development and the lady who brings us the brushes that we've we've said we want came in and she had a brush that wasn't finished and it was like this and we're okay. like we want that really like, yeah because it, it was kind of splayed and, and and like that and i said can you make that tidier and cut round a bit more so it won't. Oh, so you know, it was just it, kind of Because it, it was sharp. Oh my god, I it can was see that now. It's like a splatter. Yeah, brush. it was like we just said, get just and get we rid of like, that bit. Actually, that's really cool. It is cool. Um, it's very and, that, cool. and that's kind of how it came about. But actually, I love. Well, the the one that I use is the size smaller than. Yeah, this. there's a cool. smaller size. Um, so this comes in how many sizes? Three. Three. Okay, cool. And you can. So use this it, is the biggest one. This is the biggest. Okay, cool. So you can go up the cheekbone with it. But I use it for bronzer all the way across the face nice. in like a W shape and around the hairline. It's, it's so soft. The yeah. most. Guys, I wish you could feel this. Honestly, it's the most kick-ass, amazing bronzer brush ever. 
I love it. God. So I used it today for my contour. Yeah. So I was like going for it and I was just, yeah, like dipping it into the product and really buffing it in. And what's really fascinating I found is that it's really dense, but it has a nice movement to it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, exactly. it's not stiff. So I think it'd be really good for like body glow as well. Yes, definitely. Actually, yeah, I haven't even much. tried it for that, but that would be. Yeah. yeah. Or even like sculpting like the body. Yeah. A six pack. Because <laughs> I haven't got one quite yet. Okay, cool. And when is this brush out? August. Ooh, so it's not even out yet, guys. Not even we're out yet. With it, no. So very nice. No, it's sneak really peek, cool, sneak though. peek. All right, guys. So that's all my questions. Oh, thanks, thanks, Danny. So Thank much. you so much. I loved it. Honestly, I can't believe. Like literally, when it comes down to, I feel like you're the OG of YouTube. So it's crazy to be here. Like it's so so. Right. But thank you so thank much you. for having me. God, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Keep posting. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Bye.